like walking in the first day, I was just like, wow, like this is happening in-person classes. We're going to go ahead and get started. The course I'm teaching is NG120 and the whole purpose of this course is to give first year students a hands-on design experience that closely relates to what it would look like to be an industry. Over the summer we find clients with real problems. We pitch the problems to students. Students go through the engineering design process to come up with a design solution. And they spend about half the semester building prototypes and iterating and testing on their prototypes to create a solution that can be de then delivered to their clients at the end of the semester. So it's a very culminative like, research experience all in one class during the first year. It's incredibly unique. We are making a prototype for our pedestrian bike alert device. Yeah, I think it's really fun that we get to make something. We have an actual client. We just finished, sort of finished our medium fidelity prototype and then we're going to present it to our professors and get some feedback um, on how to proceed for our third. I'm from Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands, and um, a long way from home here in Houston. So I'm kind of happy that we got to this point um, because now, now it's more fun than just writing stuff. So this is what I signed up for basically. <laughs> so I'm glad we get to do this too. Students love the hands-on component. All of their work they do is in teams and so we're building stuff, we're designing stuff, we're doing lots of sketching and drawing. I'm very excited to start prototyping and like get involved in the OEDK. So I'm really excited to like look around, you know, interact with some of the tools and be more hands-on. We have this really lovely space of the OEDK um, that provides the context in which that could really happen. And so going into a COVID-19 world, we really had to think about how do we maintain the aspects that were most important, but how do we also provide a safety and security for our students? So what I've done is I've split my course enrollment in half, and half the students will meet with me upstairs in their groups, physically distanced from each other, and the other half of my students will meet in the basement downstairs portion of the OEDK at their work tables, and they will zoom in collectively to my meeting. This weekend, you could have a number of uh, writing assignments. We have a handful of students, no more than one per team, that are remote students, and they are, I think, having a really great experience being fully engaged in their project. We're about to move into prototyping, so that's gonna be the biggest challenge to keep them engaged in that aspect of it. Here, I'll get you closer to just so you know what's going on. Whenever I first signed up for NG120, I was thinking to myself, oh man, this is gonna be really interesting. It's a very hands-on prototyping style class. And so for the fact that I'm not able to be there, you know, in the OEDK with everything, it kind of, you know, was a little bit concerning at first you know i was really curious how that was going to go but overall it worked itself out i'm trying to get all the you know distance and velocity stuff figured out and some of this radar stuff as we go so that's just what i've been doing the project that we're actually doing we're making the pedestrian bicycle alert device i've just been doing a lot of the programming right a lot of the behind the scenes work per se so i've been able to definitely continue to contribute even though i'm you know not even close to houston i guess you could say it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of work, but it's like really rewarding and it's really exciting too now because it's like the first half has just been like like kind of like planning and preparing and coming up with ideas. So now it's like we're actually like making something out of it. Yeah, seven seven three days. One of my favorite things about coming to Rice and one of the reasons I probably chose Rice is that I got to help work on projects here at the OEDK that I actually get to help someone and our project could easily end up in the museum actually being used by people who have real needs with sensory processing disorder or even just as a place to decompress in the museum. So it, it, it's a pretty awesome opportunity. Our goal is to design a movable room that can extend for the Houston Museum of Natural Science. And the goal of this room is to help people with sensory processing disorder recover from sensory overload attacks at the museum. I don't think we really necessarily knew what we were getting into because it seemed like something just like, okay, they need things to touch, things to look at, but we didn't necessarily know we were going to be making a giant structure like this coming into it. We weren't necessarily unprepared, but we weren't necessarily, we didn't know what we were getting into. So I think we all have different levels of experience, so we were able to come together as a team and figure out what needs to get done and execute. Can we do like another little test? Engineering design is like something that I've always wanted to do, um, probably somewhere in the automotive space, but like this like 
we start out with an issue and we work as a team and we come up with like a tangible solution and we actually like build it and implement it. That's like my dream. Like if I could go to work every day and like build a new project that I've like, you know, designed myself, life would be good. And so like this is the first step to kind of realizing that it's like an actual possibility in my future and that like it's not as removed from my possibilities as I thought it was. There we go.